Hello, I am Alan. And this is an intro for the video. So anyways, in this video I will be talking about this Titanic theory, known as the Titanic and Olympic switch theory. First off, this theory is about how the Olympic switched with her sister ship the Titanic for insurance money. I will go into further detail coming up in this video. On the September 20, 1911 the Olympic collided with the HMS Hawk off the Isle of Wight on damaging the starboard side of the Olympic above the waterline. Luckily, the Olympic had only breached two compartments, enough to stay afloat. The Olympic then sails to a port where the Titanic just happened to be being built. The theory now claims that when the Olympic was there, the White Star had many problems from the incident. And apparently the White Star Line could not afford the cost of repairing the Olympic. Because of this they would need to come up with a way to claim back the money for both the loss of revenue from the Olympic being out of service for the time being and the problems from the incident. To deal with this problem, they came up with a plan to switch the Olympic with her sister ship by replacing the names and changing a little bit of the interior and exterior and sinking the ship on purpose to claim the insurance basically committing insurance fraud. And then, apparently, the theory says J.P. Morgan, the owner of the Titanic, cancelled his voyage on the Titanic at the last minute because he was ill. It is also to be said that all of his competitors were on the ship during the maiden voyage and they all died in the sinking. Here is some evidence of the switch from the Titanic wreck, which was found on the website I'm using to research about the theory. Alright, so anyways. Literally like all of that it is fake and has been debunked. First, remember that picture I showed you a seconds ago? Yeah that was all pretty much fake from my understanding. The names were switched to make you believe this. Weird, they switched the names in a name switching theory. Kind of funny. Next, JP Morgan never cancelled the voyage on the Titanic at the last minute, but in reality a few months prior to the voyage. And his competitors were never on the ship at all since they were doing other things. How do I know? Trust me EBRO, and also official passenger lists you can find online at the Titanic Encyclopedia. They wouldn't have sunk the ship on purpose for the insurance money. Because the Olympic sisters cost 7.3 million dollars, and the insurance would only cover 5 million dollars. So they would be losing money instead of making money. They wouldn't also just have to just change the names and a bit of the design. But the whole thing. The interior, out area. The machinery, well everything. And also, the Titanic and Olympic were only together for 41 days, obviously they wouldn't be able to change everything in that small amount of time and cost a lot so it wouldn't be worth it. The Titanic and Olympic were never twins, but sisters instead. They both have many distinctive features on them, like on the a deck how on the Olympic it's completely opened, where on the Titanic half of it is closed. The Titanic bridge wing is extended farther out, while the Olympic is even to the rest of the ship. See deck where the Olympic windows are squared and evenly spaced out, and then the Titanic is uneven, and thin. Hey, looks like you got the end of the video. Looking at my analytics, literally like only 0.1% of my viewers are able to. Thanks for doing that. It really helps my channel grow. Oh yeah also look at this very very real watch time from subscribers. As you can see 0% of you are subscribed, so consider subscribing to make that change. And when you do, tell me in the comments if you did. If you want me to make more Titanic related videos, or ocean liners, like the video or comment what you want me to do. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video where I talk about how the Titanic was actually switched with a cardboard boat. Goodbye.